Well, hey, y'all. Backwoods Modeler here. Welcome to my workshop. Let's try this again. Now, I kid you not, I have shot this video three times already and was not happy with it any time that I shot it. So we're going to do it again. So, as you can see, the GMC lineup that is in front of you, that is my Carson Diecast Hall. Um, these, I wasn't too sure about how they were going to be when I got them. Sorry, I kicked the camera. Um, these are amazing. Um, the craftsmanship, the quality control on these trucks, I mean, way better than any other green light truck I've ever bought. So, um, Carson Diecast is not giving me anything. I bought these out of my own pocket. Um, but, um, the quality control, maybe it's just the smaller runs that green light does that they do better jobs on. I don't know, but their mainline trucks are kind of garbage and y'all know that too. They require a lot of work after you open them up, open them up. You have to do a lot of work to make them roll correctly or you got to fix something on them. Mirrors, beds, anything. These five trucks, I've only found very, very minor detail problems that I think I can solve pretty easily. Um, I think they have done some changing. Let's start with this white dually. Um, this is my it's a 2022 you can't tell on camera but this thing has a lot of metallic in it um i like that about it that's pretty sharp now it won't focus focus okay beautiful truck as you can see the bed is just a tiny bit tweaked very tiny bit but that's something that um that aggravates me so i'm probably going to fix that other than that the detail on these trucks is amazing i mean everything is stamped perfectly where it belongs um, the detail on the grill is amazing. I mean, they did a nice job on these. Um, at both sides, here we, will, here we go with the focus again. All the, the uh, light lights are in the correct places. Everything looks good. It just, it just looks really good. They put real die cast bottoms on them, which I really like. Um, they stamped them. They didn't put those cheap stickers that fall off when you open them out of the package. They really stamped them. These are all limited run trucks, so... Um, if you can get one, I would get one. I don't think they're going to last long. Looks like they did a little bit of changing. There's no rivet in the back, and they've got a double rivet here. So I think that's maybe their way of trying to end the problem with the crooked beds. I don't know. But um, that, like I said, this one's just a little bit crooked. I can fix that. That should be an easy fix. But I just want to point out that they did a little changing on their rivets. I thought that was pretty cool. Wheels and tires roll perfectly. Um, I was hoping that I could take a set of my uh, white letter tires and put on here, but these are bigger tires, bigger rims, so the other tires will not fit these. So that may be an issue for some people. Um, I like to put the M2 wheels and tires on there, and those won't fit now. So I'll show you what I had to do on one of them. I've already had to tweak one of them just because... I had to. So that's my white dually. This one, I think they call it forest green, maybe. You can see the metallic in that one. Beautiful truck. Again, the bed's just a little bit crooked. But like I said, I think I can fix it. Um, I really like the color on this one. This is the first one I've ever seen this color in any truck. So I had to have the, I think it's forest green. I believe it's what it's called. I think that one's frost white. I don't remember what this one's called, just silver. Um, this one I had to get, my personal truck is silver. I don't have a GMC Denali, but, you know, I just got it. I like the truck. I think it looks good in silver. So this one is another beautiful truck. This one's not a dually. Um, but again, beautiful truck. They did an amazing job on these. I live in Ohio, and Ohio and Michigan have a big rivalry. So see the go blue license plate on there I don't much care for that but it is what it is no offense to anybody from michigan y'all know how it is all of them have the go blue license plate on them which is fine um let's go to the black dually y'all know why i bought this one because it's black this one's got a little bit of metallic but the flakes are not as big as they are in the green paint still another beautiful truck um again it's got a little bit of a tweak in the bed but you know that's the only problems i found on these trucks there's no boogers in the paint all the paint work is good 
everything is beautiful on these trucks. It's just uh, the beds are just a little bit tweaked. And it's not so bad on the uh, single axle trucks, just the dualies. Now, this one is not a GMC Denali. It's the only one that's not a Denali. It's just a regular 2500 HD. And as you can see, I've already changed the wheels and tires on this one just because I can't leave anything alone. Um, I put the old school wheel, uh, wa chrome wagon wheels on M2 with the uh, Goodyear Wranglers on there. The wheels and tires that were on it are in the bed because I don't know what I'm going to do with those yet. But I think it looks better with the different wheels and tires. It does change the stance just a little bit. It's just a tiny bit shorter than the other trucks now because the wheels and tires that were on it were just a schmidgen bigger than the M2. So it sets just a little tiny bit lower with the M2 tires on there, but I think it looks better. I like them. What do y'all think? Think it looks better without the, without the ugly wheels and tires? I just don't like those big rims and wheels and tires on there. This has got the same exact wheel and tire setup as on the other one, but it won't focus. So I just change them to M2. So you, you can see there in the comparison how much smaller they are. But they're not a whole lot smaller, but I still think it looks better with those on there. So that's the way this one is now going to live. That's about all I got for you today, guys. If you saw my video the last time, I changed the windshield in this blazer. So it's now ready to go. I may list that today. I'm also going to list this one today, if anybody is interested. I'm also going to list my other crew cab dually that I did that's flat black. I just haven't got it out. The only reason this one is out is this one finally sold. I, I didn't think people liked this one. I don't know why. Maybe it's because of GMC, not a Chevy, but I thought it was a sweet truck. But it finally sold. This is uh, actually going overseas. This is being shipped out probably tomorrow. Today, Sunday. So that is what I got for y'all today. Um, hope you like this video. If you do, think about liking, subscribing. And I'd like to say thank you to everybody for uh, all the support that I've been getting. I've finally been monetized. So if you get bored and you have nothing to do, go watch some old videos. Anyway, y'all have a good day. Don't forget to come back. Bye now.